Hey angels, it's Lookin' Bratz, aka Dom. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then welcome on this channel. I love to talk about fashion dolls and I don't know, random pop culture things. I'm gay, so I just love everything that feels <laughs> culturally relevant. I don't know, or in my head might be culturally relevant. But I have some things here today, and spoiler alert, it is the love dolls. Now I know I am super late to this game, so <laughs> I don't even know what there is to say about the dolls, aside from opening them and reviewing them, but I do think it is important to note that the fashion doll market has really varied over the past five years. And I have maybe controversial things to say, but I don't think too controversial to say about these dolls. But I do want to thank Far Out Toys. They actually sent me two of the dolls and two of the fashion packs and a bag. And the bag is pretty cute as well for free. So shout out to Far Out Toys. They sent me London and Harper, who I do think were two of my standouts in the line. So I was excited to receive them. I also got Harper and London's fashion packs and they sent me this cute little tote bag and the artwork looks really good on it. It has fashion pack outfits on one side and then their main outfits on the other side. This would be fun to maybe store the stuff in from the dolls. Oh, they even have the logo on the side. It says, now love stands for limitless, unique, and vibrant. And their slogan on the bag says, love your style. Now, looking at the other things, I think love your style, that sounds like an accurate tagline for these dolls. <laughs> now, I gotta be honest, when these dolls first leaked, I did not know how to feel about them. I'm always excited to see new fashion dolls enter the market, especially if they go against the green a little bit but I fear that these might be a little bit too risky to put on the market for several different reasons. One being that dolls over $30 have been hard to sell. And we got a lot of dolls between 2020 or 2019, I'd say even 2019 to now, there were several dolls that were just over $35. Some of them sold well, but a good chunk in the later years, like towards 2022 2023 didn't sell as well also i do apologize if i'm crooked i don't think i am though i don't know i think it's just the way i'm positioned and i look at the camera and i'm like am i crooked as well i don't know <laughs> is my camera going this way anyways that's not your problem to deal with it's mine so dolls even 30 dollars, it's hard to get a doll off the shelf and now that these dolls have been in Walmart stores in the United States for a good three months, maybe longer, I don't know. When did these dolls come out? It feels like it's been months now. I could be wrong, but they don't seem to be moving. I don't know, I, I, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt, but I'm gonna say there's no brand familiarity and the dolls are very bulky just in terms of packaging. The fact that the dolls are $30 each and it's a big empty box, which I guess we'll just look at right here. I don't know. I think it's a big mess. Will I say the dolls just at first glance do look detailed and nice? Of course. I think the packaging is interesting. I kind of wish, I don't know. I wish it was a little bit different. It mimics like a magazine cover, which I do appreciate. Maybe if the box had been a little bit more slimmer on the sides here and you had more of that magazine look going on, like an actual magazine cover shape, I don't know, maybe I'd be more into it. it. It's a really big box. And I will say, just at first glance, the fashions, there's a car outside. <laughs> if you hear that, sorry. The fashions feel a little dated and I'm gonna say off the bat, they're not that doll. I don't think they're gonna be bad dolls. I don't know how these are gonna fare compared to everything else on the market. Putting a doll out on the market that has like prior, like you no know, building this IP up, this is the start of it. That is a big risk. And Far Out Toys produced Glow Up Girls, and I wanna say they produced another doll line. And Glow Up Girls, we know, did not do the best. Um, it wasn't very popular. But we're gonna open these up and we're gonna see what they're all about. I am gonna give them a chance. Um, I will say off the bat, the, the packaging, the designs, the price point, it's kind of giving what I think it should at the current climate of the doll market. This was a really big 
risky move. Also, the fashion packs do look cool, but again, the designs of the fashions themselves feel a little dated, and they're 12 they're $13. These are $13, which is kind of expensive for a fashion pack. So, I don't know. Everyone will have their different opinions about these, but this is just kind of about what I think, and also just based off how the doll markets looked over the past five years, because it has shifted drastically. What I will say, though, just at first glance of these dolls, I think these would have fared better in, like, 2017 for a variety of reasons. One, I think the fashion might be a little bit more on par with that era. I don't know. And I feel like 2017, we were in a big doll drought. And dolls like this felt more common. Like, the random dolls that would come out here and there, like the one was Snapstar. Snapstar was just straight up ugly. I'm so sorry. The Snapstar dolls, I was not feeling them. I almost got one, but I was like, no, this just doesn't feel right. I think if they had put these next to Snap Stars, these would have sold better. <laughs> I don't know. They also might have been cheaper at the time. Like, the inflation wouldn't have been as bad in 2017 to sell a doll like this. But now I'm like, okay, for a company and a brand that isn't as well-renowned as something like Barbie or anything from MGA, I think it's a big risk. Also, I don't like how this is completely plastic, the packaging. I kind of wish at least the back of it was, like, cardboard. I think it's just a lot of plastic for so little of what you're getting. The dolls do look cool. I think maybe if they had marketed this as more of a collector doll, maybe sold it online exclusive. I don't know. Like, it's just so difficult to gauge where the mindsets were when creating the product. But love stands for limitless. There are endless possibilities. Unique. You are one of a kind. Vibrant. Do it with style and grace. The artwork, artwork is really cute and it sells me on the dolls a little bit more. <laughs> I actually kind of think the artwork should be on the front as well. I think maybe more of those elements of the dolls could be incorporated into what's going on in the package. And I do like this artwork in the bottom here. I like seeing the four girls together. They are a little bit reminiscent of Bratz, but I think it's so hard to be like, you know, these are like Bratz because... There's nothing attached to love. I don't know if there's going to be a show. I don't know if there's going to be any media. The only thing we got was their debut was at like a fashion show in New York, which looked cute, but I'm like, okay, like, are they going to go about marketing these dolls? I'm not sure, honestly. I feel like even the social media buzz went down a little bit, but they sent me this package, which I'm like, okay, like, too much for sending me this package. They reached out to me a few months ago, actually. So I was kind of like, did they forget? <laughs> That's just me. I'm like, I, sometimes companies just, like, forget. They just cancel, like, the sending stuff. Like, you know, sometimes when you're on the on the side of the doll influencer or whatever. So I was kind of like, okay, I won't be getting the dolls. I don't know. But they, I got them. But also, my package got delivered earlier last week. And they emailed me a few days later, the people from far out, and they were like, hey, like, you should have gotten the dolls by now. Like, when do you think you'll be posting? And I was like, oh, like, I remember getting the dolls. I didn't get the dolls. So we found out it got delivered to, like, and it was, like, somebody who was, like, on a different street, technically, with the same house number. And they just never, like, returned the package to me, but they didn't open it. Like, it was left, like, untouched, like, it was just stored in their home. And, like, I don't know, like, what the deal is. Like, it could have been, like, a guy who had it was, like, a little older, so maybe he was, like, unable, or maybe they were going to and just forgot. Maybe they were going to keep it for themselves. I have no clue, but I ended up retrieving the package. My mom did, so shout out to my mom for stopping and doing that. <laughs> but, yeah, I will open these. I got my fingerprints, like, all over them. I have, like, a cloth here. I've just been dusting things like it got dusty in my room and um my power went out earlier. I don't know these girls like Harper London and the two other ones. What are their names? What's their names? There's two other characters. They kind of look like the Bretts in terms of like appearance. A girl who looks like Jade. There's a girl who kind of looks Yasmin, although I do get kind of more like a South Asian vibe from her. And there's a girl who could look like Chloe, and there's a girl who could look like Sasha, which I think is, like, the trend again is, like, the Bratz carbon copy, but, like, in different fonts. I don't know. Like, Barbie Dream Besties, Love Dolls, Bratz is here, so it's, like, so many dolls on the market. I don't know these girls' as characters, but they do have little bios on the back. So it says, meet Harper. Harper is compassionate and caring and everyone's best friend. There's something interesting here we're gonna get into. 
She's always the first one to make sure that her friends are enjoying life. Inspired by classic vintage styles and loves to mix and match with flair. I think they spelled flair wrong. I don't know if it could be used. I, I, I usually get like F-L-A-I-R, but this one says flare, like a fire, like when you have like a flare weapon. I don't want to say the thing because I don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> mix and match. The way they say mix and match with the N in it, I'm like, huh. Vintage styles is very much Yasmin's thing. So I'm like, maybe she is a little bit more inspired by Yasmin than I realized. On the front here, it says outfit, inspiration, statement making style, effortlessly elegant. And yeah, that's it's Harper. So this is Harper. I don't know who the other two girls are. I think one is named Brooke and I think, I don't know which one it is though. I don't know which one is Brooke. I haven't watched any of the videos <laughs> about these dolls. I like actively avoided things because I did not want to be influenced <laughs> because I knew at some point I would be opening these on my own. We're gonna open them again. Like I said, the packaging is a little bit unnecessarily large, but we're gonna, we're gonna get into it, okay? Now on the bottom here, there's a stand, which I appreciate. I think a stand is definitely appreciated because we haven't been getting stands with a lot of dolls lately. Like all the doll brands just stopped doing stands on a consistent basis. And it's like, oh, that's the game that we're playing here. The stand is pretty cool. It, uh, it has a sticker on the front, which I think throws me off just slightly. I wish it wasn't a sticker, honestly. I wish they maybe just left it blank, but it says Harper's name on it, and it has a bunch of hearts. And then it has a heart sculpted into it that says L-U-V. There we go, that's the stand, it looks okay. It's a little bit like more of like a thinner plastic, but it's not like a big deal. So first thing I'm taking out is Harper's bag, which does have like a love motif on it, and it's like a faux sculpted quilted bag. It's pretty cute, it has like a handle, oh I hate the... There we go. I'm like, I hate like the way that it won't focus on the accessories when I'm trying to like point out to everybody <laughs> and all the details. I will say details are not missed on this doll from what I see, which is where I could maybe justify the $30 price point. But I don't know. I think if maybe these had been a little bit less high end runway, I don't know if these are even really high end. Like I think were at some point high end runway looks, but like now, like, I don't know. Like I think maybe they should be a little bit more like updated. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm missing the mark with these and maybe like the fashion is a little bit more current. But like to me, I don't personally see these as current fashion. Okay, super hard to get out of the box, but the hands do pop on and off. For anyone curious, I don't think the arms come off, no. So if you do want a little bit more, uh, an easier time redressing, you can take the hands off. The hair came out pretty nice. There's no product in it as far as I can tell. And the hair, like, you know, it looks good in the box. I am happy to confirm that these have premium nylon hair. The head articulation is pretty decent. She has an articulated torso and can like twist two different ways. The, the knees bend too. I'm a little shocked about that. <laughs> Very much like action figure articulation. I think the arm articulation could be a little bit better, but I mean, kind of get hands on their hip in a sense, <laughs> if you're trying hard enough. The, the outfit itself, the construction of this, whatever this is, it does look beautiful. I think it's a lot of layers and I think it could have done without a few. It, I don't know, like I don't see like fashions as consistently like, so I'm like a little bit like maybe like I'm missing the mark with like what the design is. But yeah, that's just like my take on it. That's just my opinion on it. The construction though, the, the quality of this, it's a good doll. It's a good doll quality wise, 100%. The boots, um, they don't have any like painted, but they do have some sculpted details, like sort of floral motifs that say love on them in the heart and some like, you know, boots, a garment. Yeah, the, the, the corset here does come off. It's a separate piece. Everything else I want to say is together. Yeah. Everything else definitely looks like it's sewn together, which is not a deal breaker to me. Like I fully care about it as long as the pieces look nice. But again, like I don't necessarily like know kind of like fashion these dolls are going for, but definitely not a bad doll. The face up is interesting. I think it's a cute face up and the sculpt I think is nice. I think maybe the eyes could be maybe slightly further apart. 
like our thighs are really close together, but that's not like a bad thing. But I don't know, just kind of like my thigh. I think I feel like that is the case. The dolls, like the eyes look really close together. Yeah. About the body, like it's not a bad body. I think the articulation is pretty okay for what it is. But the legs look very stumpy compared to the rest of the body. Like they're very short dolls. They're very like much in size to brats. Which is where I'm like, okay, like a little bit more like Bratz esque in like this of like what place do they hold on the market? The accessories are cute. It's just kind of like plain, which I don't think is bad for the thirty dollars price point, especially with such like detailed garments and stuff. Um, but yeah, the the hair is nice. I like the hair. The body is like whatever. But overall, I do think the doll is good for what you're getting. But I think it's really hard to. Um, for a lot of consumers to see past the price point and see like you know high quality and like the fashions and all of that but i think i'm gonna open these fashion packs and then i'll do like a flip around where we like actually try on the different fashions for the dolls now what i also appreciate about these is that i'm not gonna have to do too much to their hair I think London's hair I can just leave on its own Harper's I might just like fix a ponytail a smidge but other than that, I'm like, okay, like, that's nice because I like that factor of, like, not having to do too much to the hair. Even though I think it could be kind of like a bonding with the doll <laughs> in that sense. Now, Harper's fashion pack, it looks very nicely made. But I don't like the fashion as much. Now, like, these details and stuff, like, the way that they put this on the fabric, like, I, this looks, like, amazing. I like this part of it. Like, this is a really nice, well-made fashion pack. And I you know, be just be more into it if the fashions themselves were just a little bit more appetizing. I'm not feeling the fashion aspect of it, which is where I feel like is one of the other areas where the dolls kind of struggle. And I do think it does set them apart a little bit just in terms of like, there's not a lot of dolls in the market that hit this side of fashion. But I don't know. I think it could have just been like improved a little bit. But the fashion pack does come with this cool purple bracelet. It actually matches the one that she wears on her doll, but in a different colorway. And then there is a bag here. I do like this bag. I think it's like the Dior saddle bag. And it has a love ornament of some sort. I don't know, what do you call that? Like a ornament for the purse, <laughs> the little chain. And then there's a pair of shoes in here. I, I like the boxes of the fashion packs. I will say they look like really fun fashion displays and where I'm like maybe where they could uplift the line is by like having like a playset or something or something that kind of a little bit more into the fashion aspect of it. <laughs> and she does come with these strappy platform sandals. They're cute. They're like brown and purple. I do like that those colors together or like a brown. I don't know. And they do have love imprinted on the bottom. Now that, that is all the fashion pack comes with. And I'm like, okay, the fashion is nice. The accessories, cool, whatever. Like I like what this comes with, but I'm like $13 just seems really, really for that. Now I, I can really account for like, how was this constructed? Like, is it a construction of the pieces that adds to the price? I don't know, but these are pretty pricey dolls. Compared to everything else that you can find on the market right now, I I need to see a doll line not be given a fair chance because it's just too expensive. <laughs> but we're gonna open up London, and I don't wanna like, you know, dwell on the negatives of this line, but it's a little hard to not acknowledge it because I think it's what a lot of people have been feeling. But we are gonna open up Harper, who looks pretty cool. I'm intrigued by these boots that look like they might be two separate pieces, I'm not sure. But let's open up London. Um, let's meet London for a second. Here's the back of her box. Gorgeous, stunning artwork. London is adventurous and outgoing. She loves to show off her unique and individual style, always willing to push her limits to experience new things. Now, I just gotta ask, were these descriptions written by AI? Because it's starting to feel that way. Like this, it feels so basic. Like, I, I like, you know, you can't connect to characters when they're not a little bit more developed. In the introductory product, like, I don't know. But let's open her up. All right, we have London on her cardboard backing. I'm gonna say off the bat, out of the four, 
I think London might be my favorite design wise and also just like her color palette her face is really really pretty and I think a lot of doll companies uh, and also MGI I will say they struggle to give girls with darker complexions really nice makeup like tones to use like I see so much pinks like always Sasha like I, she could have used more flattery makeup and I do like that they use more flattery makeup on London here her lipstick shade is really stunning I would love to see that on Sasha <laughs> I'd love to see that um, replicated on Sasha but let's get her out of the box and like really get into London. <laughs> and just like Harper, she does come with a stand. It is located on the bottom of the package. Now there's hearts sculpted all around it, which I actually didn't realize. I think I'd like it better if the hearts were sculpted all around. I don't know, there's something about the sticker being here that I don't like the way the sticker looks. Oh wow, the ambulances are out. And I really don't want to be nitpicky about things like that, but I don't know, it just is kind of like first thoughts and opinions the ambulance is getting louder. So we had a power outage today, so that could be some of the reason why um, you hear a little bit more background noise, is I think there's ambulance out, I think the police are out, I think, you know, the electrical, the sewer, I don't know. You know what I mean, town people. First responders might be the choice of word I was looking for, not town people. I am a town person. <laughs> I am one of the town's people, technically. Now, I don't like how the hands are, like, put in a package. This is so hard. Like, it's hard to cut. Like, maybe I am just an idiot, but I don't know. I don't like this unboxing experience the most. Like, these are really, really strapped into the packaging. Her design, it's definitely very, very extra, but I think it works for London. I mean, the pattern and choices, I don't know. It's a little nutty. It's a little... We have, like, this print jacket with, like, a bright pink blouse underneath which is a separate part and then we have this almost feminine camo like but not camo it's just an odd design i don't know i really like this part this part though the zebra print thing really cute i think i wouldn't mind the camo-esque shorts if it was with different pieces like if i can match that really well <laughs> there's like some cords on the side though which is a nice detail the boots are interesting because they almost mimic like a leather boot, but it's a plastic piece because it looks like a real leather boot, but it isn't. So I like that actually. She does have an interesting like sort of belt purse and I actually noticed she doesn't come. She doesn't have a separate bag. So I guess that technically is her bag. That's where the plastic budget went to. She has a pearl choker and a heart locket necklace. And then she also has a lot of bracelets, if you can make it out, yeah. Not a bad doll. I will say out of the four, I think design-wise, she is the most appealing and also her face-up is pretty. Again, I do wish the eyes were a little bit, maybe just different or maybe just like slanted different way when they were placed. And I think it would have made her look, I don't know, maybe a little bit more appealing to the eyes. She is the most appealing to the eyes out of the four. <laughs> like I'm like, this design the most, um, just, I don't know. Something about this outfit choice. It's interesting. <laughs> and she does love a crazy pattern because as we go into the fashion pack, interesting choices. Artwork is stunning though. Artwork like sells on it, but then I'm like, I see it on the doll and I'm like, I don't know. Why doesn't it feel the same? Now, oh, she, <laughs> I, I like this actually. But she has this faux fur jacket and it does have like little pieces of tinsel throughout it. This is a nice versatile piece that I think could work on several different dolls. So if you're looking to maybe buy it for that jacket, I wouldn't blame you because I think I would too. The construction of the piece is interesting. I think it's well constructed, but I don't know if I like this top part just generally. I don't know if I like how the top part looks. We'll see it when we dress her up in it. The belt is interesting. I don't know, like all the love motifs I think would be cuter if they looked a little different. And maybe if it was like a chain belt or something like that, I don't know. But, oh, it looks like there is an undergarment. So there might be separate panties, no. Okay, I don't know why I thought there was like a undergarment <laughs> right there, but it almost looks like it is with the lining. If you can make it out, it's like that clear mesh lining. It's not bad though. I think, you know, it's fine not maybe not my taste exactly it just feels very different from what they were doing before which i think is a risk maybe it's not a bad risk i don't know but again like in honesty i haven't seen the dolls move 
from shelves. I don't like one person after the launch really look into the dolls, which to me feels like a red flag, but I don't know. This purse is really cute though. The purse is cute. Again, it's like a faux chain. It's all just like sculpted. I'm not expecting the most from the, in terms of the purse. And these shoes look pretty cute. The shoes look cute. We've got these strappy sandals that would go up to like the knee high. I wish there was maybe a little bit more platform to it, but maybe it'll look, uh, it might look a little different on the doll once we actually dress her up in it. But we have everything open. I'm glad I got that all open because it's been sitting in my room for like the weekend and I'm like, okay, I like open these and make some space because my life feels like chaos at the moment. But um, overall, um, before we do the sort of the different outfits and stuff, I... I like the dolls for what they are. I think, honestly, I was thinking about it. I was like, her name is London. And I was like, what if each of the dolls like represented fashion from like each culture? Like she was London and then like one like Tokyo, one was Paris, like London, Paris, maybe Tokyo. Maybe one could be like New York City. I don't know. Like I think another opportunity there to like explore fashions. I don't know. I feel like these, they kind of hit the randomizer button <laughs> on these pieces and they said, okay, that looks good. I think the outcome of it, like the construction, gorgeous, beautiful. The quality is there. The quality is really good. But design wise, I'm a little skeptical about these dolls. I don't know if I'll get the other two. I think I'll consider it to maybe complete the set. They kind of give me a Juku Couture vibe in the sense that it's like one of random lines that's like brat scale just kind of comes out. I don't know if we'll be seeing more from Love. I know Globe Girls I think is canceled so that kind of puts an end to that. <laughs> but we'll, we'll dress up these dolls. We'll get a look at them. I think they're okay. I think they're really well made. I think $30 is just a lot to put on the market right now. Even like looking at other doll brands, even doll brands that I love, seeing them do dolls at $30, like that is the limit a lot of companies are going for in terms of playline. So we're pro we'll probably see more trends of like $30 and under dolls. And having a brand new doll line priced at $30 with an unfamiliar IP, huge risk. So I'd say if you're into them, get them all you can because who knows how long they'll end up in store, how long they'll be in stores. Now I've only seen these in stock in Walmart stores. I don't know if they're coming to like Target or actually, I don't know where these are sold internationally. So there's that. And I think they're on Amazon potentially. I'm not sure. They're interesting to say the least. They're not bad dolls. They are not bad dolls. So don't misconstrue what I have to say. Really buy them if you're interested in them. I wouldn't give in to pressure to buy these dolls unless you're really like, oh, those are so cute. Cause I do think they are cute. I just wish the fashion choices were different. And we'll see, we'll see the future of love goes. I do want to shout out Far Out Toys. I'm sorry, like, I don't want to sound negative in this review because of course they sent me free product, but I do want to give my honest opinion on these dolls. And even for myself, I'm a little bit mixed on the dolls. Like, I'm not against them, but I don't know if I see these working out in the long run. We will see what happens with that, but um yeah all right go we're gonna be doing a look at the second outfits but i did want to point out for anyone curious also sorry if there's fan noise or just any background noise i am literally sweating anyways <laughs> like it's hot outside but of course the hands come off for easier undressing but something interesting is that while undressing them i was curious about the ankle part and if it was articulated and it is so this has articulation for both flats and anything with platforms i was curious because i know that london's fashion pack has flats so i was like huh is that gonna work out and it will and the leg can come off it pops right back on but i just found found it so funny because I was trying to take her first outfit off and it just went clean off. But yeah, let's check them out in their second outfits. All right, here are the dolls in their fashion pack outfits. So I put Harper's on first. Harper? Yes. Okay. <laughs> just making sure that was her name real quick. Harper's outfit 
is really nicely made. I love the construction of the piece. I think it's just the translation into doll form. There are certain outfit pieces that I think look good in real life and they look good on the runway perhaps, but I don't think this one translates the best into doll form, but I think it's a really great attempt at doing it. And I do think the construction is beautiful, a really, really nicely well-made piece for the dress. The bag is cute. I don't know if I like the bag with this dress personally. But there's also the mix and match aspect of these dolls if you're able to buy the dolls and the fashion packs. But that would be about $45 total. So I could see some parents and consumers turning away from these because the doll by itself only has one outfit and like not a ton of accessories. And like I said previously, I think it's really hard to distinguish quality from price point a lot of people are just looking at price point and when you don't have a really distinguished ip it's hard to sell people on a 30 dollars doll from an unknown brand so just my thoughts on that the shoes look cute the toenails are painted just like the hands and i think that's a really nice detail and i like that we get to see them in these looks I think everything is really nicely made. I think the construction is beautiful, but I think the price point is what's going to turn people away. I think $13 for a fashion pack, even though it's really, really high quality, I think it's just hard for people to shell out that kind of money on items like that. And I don't know, that's just kind of my thought process going into it, especially in the state of inflation that we're in like this is a little bit intense for some consumers and i think that's okay to say while also retaining the fact that the dolls are really nice they're nice quality the fashions i would love to see these dolls really get another chance to i don't know show us a little bit more about what love is i think we're getting like a really really small glimpse with this first launch. I will say I had a really fun time redressing them. Like it really got me excited because I love their scale, even though the clothing isn't like the best on them. I really do love the scale of these dolls. Very, very Bratz-esque. This outfit I do really love, I will say. I think both of London's looks are really strong compared to the rest of the lineup but it's a little hard to judge because I don't have the other two dolls. But I, I feel like I can firmly say that just based off of my experience here. The purse is cute. I do wish there was a little bit more platform to the sandals. Her legs look a little bit awkward in these, but with the platforms, she's actually taller than Harper. With the sandals, they are the same height. So I found that to be interesting. The face, again, just gorgeous. This doll is gorgeous. I love the faux fur. I could have done without the tinsel in it, but it's not a complete deal breaker. It kind of goes well with her accessories. I did add her necklace onto this look because I really, really loved her necklace. Her necklace actually turned out to be one piece rather than two pieces like I originally thought. But yeah, let me know what you think about these dolls in the comments. I definitely feel like I tried to give the most critical but understanding review because from a critical standpoint these dolls they're pretty they're really well made i think the fashions could maybe be a little bit more i don't know scaled back just in terms of how extravagant they are i feel like these looks are cute but they don't translate well to the dolls exactly except for london's i do quite like london's look but her first outfit was a little garish and i think that's the word i've been looking for for this video and for these dolls is garish like the colors are a little bit intense and they're not the most visually appealing when you see them on shelves but once you actually get to own one they're pretty nice i won't lie but yeah, I think I've said enough about these dolls. And I, I think I wanted to also mention that they're a little similar just in price point. Well, they are the same price as a majority of the Disney Illy dolls made by Jack Pacific. And very similar-ish in quality. I will say I think the clothing of these dolls, the love dolls are better. 
but I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm a little curious. I'm curious to see what other people are thinking about these dolls because I have avoided a lot of their reviews and a lot of the testimonials and all of that because I really wanted to get to experience these on my own. And now that I'm looking at it, the face sculpts do look different between these two. I thought they were the same at first, but I do see differences. They're both very pretty in their own ways, and I wish we got a little bit more of a streetwear style. Maybe if they do a second wave, they can do more of like a budget, kind of like the Disney Illy dolls just came out with. They have like those slim box dolls. I think that would be nice, and maybe some fashion packs with some more current like streetwear fashions, or maybe even like uh, less intense <laughs> designer fashions like these. Um, but yeah, that's all I really have to say. They're cute. I like them. I do think the price is a little difficult to grapple in these, in this economy, I guess. But yeah, let's, let's do our little wrap up. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, which if you made it this far, I hope you did enjoy it. <laughs> Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more doll content. There's a ton of stuff on the way that I'm excited for. And yeah, follow me on all socials at Look and Bratz Hold the G on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Everything is linked in the description along with my website, lookandbrats.com, which is a cool website, so check it out. And other ways to support me in the caption if you're interested, but no pressure. Thank you again, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. <laughs>